Don't even talk to me. I'm so sorry, Ted. You were supposed to be judging a baby competition, not getting at them agitated. I was just playing with them, Ted. Playing with them. You were jumping up and down with them, running around with them, and getting completely overexcited. That's why you got sick on me. I thought the standard was rubbish. Some very sloppy babies, all right. A lot of very hairy babies. It was a very hairy baby parade. Exactly, Ted. If people aren't going to bother shaving their babies before they come out. Normally, Dougal, you wouldn't have to shave your baby. Mrs Doyle, did you put a cup in the middle of the floor? I did. Well, why? I thought it would be handy for your paper clips. See, you can put the, them in here in the hollow. Yes, but why in the middle of the floor? I got the idea from a magazine. Well, that might be all well and good for fellas like Alan Jordan, but I, I prefer a more Tristan cup in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Mrs Doyle looked very different today. Was well, it definitely Mrs Doyle? Oh, hello. I was looking for Mrs. Doyle. It is Mrs. Doyle. Jesus, I thought you were Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a couple of nice pints oh. for you. Oh, great. We were running a little bit low, actually. <laughs> well, there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't be here at all. The police are after me. They're not. Yeah, they want to arrest me for being so gorgeous. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm a little bit sad, Mrs. Doyle. I have a funeral to go to. Oh, no. Really? Yeah, my last girlfriend, she died of exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello. Hello, Father. This is Pat Mustard, our new milkman. Yeah, I'm just here on Craggy Island spreading myself around. Oh. Uh, Mrs. Doyle, could you um, go upstairs? There's some dusting in Father Jack's room. And there's a, a huge cobweb in the shed that needs removing. Right, right so, Father. I'll be on my way then, Padre. Right, Ted. It looks like an ordinary whiteboard, doesn't it? Well, yes. Watch this. It rubs off. You can do that with all whiteboards, Dougal. What? This is a very milky cup of tea, Mrs Doyle. In fact, I think it's all milk. Is there any tea in here at all? Well, no. Anyone would think you're trying to get rid of the milk so that Pat Mustard fella can call around more often. Ah! Oh, Father. Pat Mustard's very interesting. At the weekends, he's a swimming instructor, and he was even Mr. Universe, and he, he fought in Vietnam, and he even taught for Elvis Presley how to play karate. I think Pat Mustard's telling you a few thought tales, Mrs. Doyle. <laughs> what do you think, Dougal? I'm very cynical, as you know, Ted. Well, it's not my place, I know, Father, but it seems like you're a little bit jealous to me. Jealous? Jealous of Mr. Milky Man? I very much think not. What are you doing there, Dougal? Just looking at some hairy baby photos from today. Oh my God. What? This is a terrible thing to say, but if you took this baby's yellow hair, this baby's sideburns, and this baby's smeg, I think you get Pat Mustard. Do you think they're copying his style? No, Dougal. I think that he's delivering more than dairy products. No, he can't be. He's been what? I think we need to do some detective work, Dougal, and find out what this Pat Mustard fella is really up to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, Father. Pat was just wondering if he could put his massive tool in my box. What? How dare you? Oh, I'll have to. It's not going to fit in the milk float. I'll have to pick it up tomorrow. Miss Doyle, could you leave us for a moment? Right, oh, Father. I'm on to you, Pat Mustard. There's some very hairy babies in Craig Island. I think you're the hairy baby maker. Well, now, Father. I think you're going to need some proof if you're making those sort of accusations, because I'm a, a very careful man. Mm. 
Except when it comes to taking precautions in the bedroom. Oh, Father, you wouldn't be advising I use artificial contraception now, would you? Yes, I, I mean, no. Well, if you're going to be doing, just feck off. Father, you'd want to be up very early in the morning to catch me. The pink panther. And now to ride Mrs. O'Reilly. Right, Diggle, did you get that? Ted, I turned the volume up as loud as I could to hear what's going on inside the house. At this stage, I can hear it. Right, now we wait. Oh, God, he's finished. Oh, Jesus, Teresa, I forgot to be picking trousers. God. Ah! Oh. Oh. What's going on? Father Hackett's got very fond of that cup. It's a great pet. He doesn't have to clean it or wash it or feed it. Suits him perfectly. I love me cup. Ah, oh, that's nice. Maybe we're seeing a different side to Father Jack. A more kind and considerate side. Ah, fake it! Don't like cup! Oh, Jesus! Oh. Oh, Alright, right, Dougal, we need to come up with a plan to get Pat Muster off this island. Good idea, Ted. What do you suggest we do? I think I have an idea. Alright, fathers, I'm off to the shop to get some more milk. Will you have another cup of tea, Mrs. Denise? Ah, uh, Mrs. Doyle, no, I'd better head off. I'd better head off. Ah, go on, you'll have another little drop. Ah, uh, no, I'd best be off now, Miss Doyle. Pat Mustard is calling up with the milk this evening, so I'd best be off. Ah, uh, uh, go on, go on, go on. Ah, uh, no, I'd best go, I'd best go now. Oh, does Pat Mustard deliver your milk too? He does indeed. Oh, he is so handsome. Is he? I hadn't noticed. Welcome here. Do you know Mrs. Kiernan? Yeah. Well, she was out shopping the other day and a man came over to her, killed her and stole her pen. He <gasps> killed her? Well, I think so. They're doing tests. Ah, the poor woman. I must get the fathers to say mass for her. Yeah. Oh, that's a good thing now, Mrs. Yeah. Doyle, but just, I better be off now. I'm going to get this in a cup of tea. Ah, now don't be daft, Mrs. Ah, Lean. No, no. I'll get that. This. Ah, don't be silly now, Mrs. Doyle. I have the purse out. Ah, now. Mrs. Ah, Deneen, no. I said I'd get it. I have the purse out. I'll get it, Mrs. Ah, Mrs. Doyle. Mrs. Deneen, no, no, no. I'll get this. Mrs. Doyle, don't be silly ah, now. Don't do be silly. I'll get this now. No, Mrs. I'll... Deneen, I I'll... said I'll get this Mrs. now. Mrs. Barren Island Parochial House, Father Beeching speaking. Derek, we have a problem. There's been an outbreak of hairy berries on the island and we need your help. Don't worry, Ted. We're on our way. Was that Ted Crilly? Yes. There's a problem on the island. They need our help. Ah, a day trip to Craggy Island. Sure, that's marvellous. Now, remember the last time about Mrs. Doyle's baking? Oh, Mrs. Doyle and her baking. Nothing but nuts, nuts, nuts. She must put nuts in everything she bakes. She can't seem to understand how serious my nut allergy really is. Hand tight. That's it. In. Out. Let's go. In. Out. Let's go. This is great. No. No. That's it, girls. Well done. Well done. That's it. Well done, girls. That's it. Keep it going. Keep it going, Keep it girls. In and on to the right. On to the right. Let's yeah, go. That's it. Let's go. On to the right. Let's go. Let's go. Right. right. Around me. Around me. Around the right. Let's Around go. Them. Around. That's Let's it. go. Right. Come on. Let's go. Around. Let's go. Let's go. Move. Move. That's Move. It. Let's go. Move. Up Move. That's it. Yep. Don't make it get the ball up. Pick it up. Let's go. That's it. Let's go. Don't be afraid. All this time, that's your great solution. A mass always goes down well. A mass? This isn't time for mass, this is time for action! 
Isn't there anything to be said for a short little mass? Oh, God, I love saying mass. Hey, me these masses. Now, Dougal, Father Beeching says a lovely mass. We don't have time for mass. Shut up and help me come up with a practical solution. Tea for everyone. Father Beeching, biscuit or cake? Uh, biscuits or cake? Biscuits or cake? Uh, for God's sake, just hurry up and pick one! Uh, a, a biscuit. No, no, cake. Ah, Father Clark, I know how much you love my bacon. Will you have a slice of cake? Ah, no, you're very kind, Mrs. Doyle. Just tea for me, please. I'm allergic to the nuts, you see. Um, just one crumb of that cake could kill me. Ah, a bit of cake never killed anybody. Go on, you'll have a slice. N no, no. Ah, go on. No, no, no. Ah, go on, go on, go on. No, go on. Craig Island Proker House, for a Ted Quiddy speaking. It's me, father, you ignorant bastard. Is that you, Mustard? You got me sacked. But I got some news for you, father. I am that hairy baby maker. And you'll be seeing traces of me around this craggy hole for the rest of your days. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!